Well, thanks again, Shaka. We received a tremendous response in our STA inbox to this week's question. Political turmoil continues to destabilize the government in South Sudan. President Salva Kiir has, re has replaced Riek Machar with Taban Dengai. Machar's whereabouts are still unknown since he fled Juba weeks ago following the fighting between the two men's rival forces. This leads us to our question of the week, which asks, how effective do you think the newly appointed first vice president, General Taban Dengai, will be? Well, starting off the conversation is Peter Taban Mading with our letter of the week. Our letter of the week comes from Peter Taban Mading from South Sudan, who writes, No man is bigger than the country. Neither is South Sudan an individual enterprise. General Taban Dengai has what it takes to be a successful leader and to restore peace and unity to South Sudan, so long as the international community gives him time. He's the right man in the right position at the right time. Well, thank you, Peter, for sharing your thoughts with us. And before we continue, I'd like to thank all of you for using all our social media platforms to communicate with us. And another reminder that we are tweeting live today. Use the hashtag VOA South Sudan Politics. And if you haven't yet, please follow us at VOA Shaka. Speaking of, let's go to a tweet from Wugol Maniel Wugol, who tweets, General Taban is unifying, is unifying leader. South Sudanese have hope and trust in him effectively. He will deliver. And now to another tweet from Prince Habat Nkula, who tweets, there will be no effectiveness because President Kier broke the peace agreement to drop. And we have another tweet from Emmanuel Kachele, who tweets, in my view, General Taban Dengai won't be effective. He'll be overshadowed by clashes between Kier and Mashar. And our last tweet comes from Isaac Peter from Tanzania, who writes, General Vice President Taban will face many challenges due to the lack of peace in southern Sudan. Now to a comment from Facebook fan Robert Baguba, who writes, the newly elected Taban Dengai may not be effective because it's like he has allied to President Salva Kiir without Rick Mashar's consent. The struggle will continue. In fact, no change has been made. Well, Shaka, certainly no shortage of opinions here.